her face like that. Tell him, that was too much paparazzi. A little too close. There's like such a thing called personal space. I don't care what species you are. <laughs> Today I'm going to sort of redo my guinea pig cage shelf situation that I have here. This was originally where MJ and Hippie lived. Since then, I've just kind of opened it up for David, Alexis, Bebe, and everyone. However, if you notice, like I had hay piles here, but there's no poops, there's no nothing. They have not gone up the ramp, period. Like I was just kind of gonna be lazy and be like, I'll just not even do a room makeover and just let them have even like more levels. None of, it's like none of them have gone up there. So my first like attempt of redoing the room is just going to be taking these shelves out and making room, like basically re-putting these shelves in different spots so that I can move my linen shelf and like toy shelf system and hay in here instead of having it in the hallway. And so that way everything is just in here now. That's like my goal. Olive, you went all the way up the stairs just to drink some water. There's a bottle right next to you. You're so silly. You wanna show off in front of Figgy cause he's up there. So for now, the shelf is staying. Like the end goal is I kind of wanted it to go cause it's so bulky, but I guess first where I'm gonna start is taking everything off the shelf and <laughs> making more a mess in the hallway. Cause where else do I put it? These pigs have the entire room. Yeah, yeah, that's a situation. Usually at this time of the day, cause this is like in the early part of the day, I would have already like spot cleaned all their hay areas, but because I'll get really upset cleaning everything and then coming and making a mess, I just decided I'm gonna leave kind of like their nighttime mess and just add fresh hay, let them like pick through it and have fun with it. And then I'll come through and then do like a full clean for them after I get this whole thing situated. It's kind of like, sometimes you don't know the best way to start cause the pigs are always gonna make a mess, so. Doesn't even really matter sometimes which direction and where we start. But we just have to start. Right, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, Who's ready for fresh hay? Hey, 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 hey. La, 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 la. Why don't you guys come eat and relax while I clean up and organize for you? Because you'll totally appreciate it. Excuse me, Papa. Davide! Oh, Davide! You wanna see where Davide is? Davide is in the biggest poop den of all poop dens. Look at this. Davide, look at all those duties. Look at how lazy you are. Davide, thank you. So grody. Just literally. Did I embarrass you? Hey, lazy bones. Oh, you're gonna back up and poop even more. Look at you. He's taking a dookie. I really don't mind calling you out because I have to clean your butthole. This is the first time we've had a video since they bonded and they're still bonded together. No, the yeah, other fine. They, they just, you know. MJ still does her thing during feeding times where she purrs and kind of gets on Bebe's butt. Other than that, like it's pretty chilled out considering like you can see they're over there kind of her and David are doing it right now. But honestly, like Alexis and Bebe are so passive with David and like don't really challenge him that it's kind of nice. It makes him have to like, you know, reap what he sows a little bit. Gigi and Bebe, or Gigi and Frenchie, you can't even see Gigi. But yeah, typically whenever, and I'm sure with anyone who, you know, has piggies, I'm assuming most people who are watching this have piggies, but you know, when you bring out the hay and you re refresh the hay, they all get excited and kind of come running. Mine do. Alexis, you look so pretty in the sunlight. Should I open this? Oh my goodness, so much light. 
She had to close her little eyeballs. Look at her in the sun. Look at that little eyeball. Oh, it's so bright. I think she's the one who's the hardest for me to hold. It's very squirmy. Baby is so good. She doesn't like being held, but she'll, she'll take a pet. Hey, little baby. Hey, little baby. I appreciate you. You can only see it. It looks like you're petting hay. It does look like I'm petting hay, but that's okay. Because I know who's in there. It's the baby. So I'm just going to start taking everything off. <sighs> I like looking at all of it and I'm like, where am I going to put it? Just It's like everything is just going to go in the hallway and it's going to be even more insane than it already is. It's just like, let's make it worse before we make it better. That's what's really just gonna have to happen. Cool, Josh, because you might be helping, like physically. Remember when I like cleaned your shed? Oh yeah, I have a Patreon. I like actually posted on it. Austin would be so proud of me because I've been telling him I'm gonna do it for so long. But I do have it up. It's called Sarah Carey. Josh can put the link in the description. But yeah, it's gonna be like all my projects. So like I do so many projects during the week that you know Josh can't be a part of to film for YouTube. So it's just a lot easier for me to film myself and make my own edits and post it on Patreon. And proud of myself because I actually did it. I actually did two videos. So if you're just interested in seeing more of like what I do on like a daily and weekly basis when it comes to like house chores, plant chores, like pet chores, stuff with the dogs, most, you know, it'll be a lot of guinea pigs, but like I do just do a lot of other things and I'm gonna start putting all of that on my Patreon. If you're into that sort of thing, it's there. If not, we'll still be here weekly. So Josh, I want you to put the camera down. As much as you look really cute behind the camera, I'd love to be using your hands physically on this. hydrating from all the work I just did. Don't watch the time lapse. It's mostly just Josh. No. <laughs> You're in there with like the, the razor blade, like just razoring everything to death. Dude, I was razoring everything. Razoring. Everyone's like scattered because we've been loud. Sorry, brothers. Sorry guys, it was loud. This is where we are. Shelves are off, lights are down. I'm gonna just like wipe everything off because yeah, why wouldn't we? You know. Are you having fun? No, I'm not. I'm actually having no fun. I hate this so much. Oh, it's just so much work and my neck is already super tight. Um, I mean, I'm happy for the pigs. However, like nothing's really changing for them. It'll hopefully just be nicer for me. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Jesus. Any pig uncle. Yeah, exactly. You you create messes and you do projects with me, but you don't ever clean them up. This is like why I started that other th channel on Patreon, because it's like me just cleaning up the aftermath behind every tornado that is my house, which is 
the husband I have, the dogs I have, the guinea pigs I have. You decided to have us. All choices that I made and I'm living with them. It's fine. Cleaning up after some of my children now. Get back to it. Anyway, I don't even have anything to say right now. So I'm gonna just wipe down all these shelves. Real Cinderella, <laughs> can't even talk. Rear, <laughs> real Cinderella work over here. You know, what's the song that they sing for Cinderella, Cinderella? Dun, 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 dun. Dude, you're thinking of Grease. That's Cinderella. Oh, okay, no, it's Cinderella, Cinderella, dun dun dun, dun Cinderella, mop the kitchen, do the floor. You wouldn't, exactly, so don't tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. That is Cinderella. She's mad. I'm not mad, you go, that's Grease. Like, what? Like, tell me more, tell me more. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> So like, I don't want to do a full cage clean on them right now, but like, I'm going to have to start setting up their mats differently now that it, it's like not as wide in this section. But for a temporary, I am moving one thing out because it was just too much, just too much clutter. I didn't want anyone to like roll their little ankle. Put down some of Austin's. They can do that. Don't laugh at me. I'm laughing at how crazy I'm filming. Oh, I thought you were laughing when they can sprain their ankles. You're great at creating the chaos with me, Josh, and you're just so quick to pick up the camera again when it comes time to straighten up and put things back. Right, Alexis? You're just so good at this. You're so Tell him. Say, Daddy, don't be so lazy. <laughs> Let me put some food right here. Kind of in the way, yeah. Look, I'll set it up differently in a minute, y'all. Just like one thing at a time. But at least it's safe. I'll be back in a little bit. Oh, my knee. Stop. Izzy, Izzy, oh my God, my knees. I like complained about, we were coloring on the ground and then my knee bent and I like pulled my knee out. And I was like, ooh, my knee. Like left my knee bent too long and she, at that age where she wants to like copy everything I do. She got her knee and she goes, mm, my knee. <laughs> you want to tell them how old she is? <laughs> Two and a half, I think. Yeah. I'm sure she's not like a 16 year old. No, she said, oh, my knee. I'm like, you got perfect knees. You like, have you ever seen how she sits in the craziest positions? I'm like, how are you not broken yeah, right now? Two. Exactly. So for a two year old to go like, oh, my knee. <laughs> Everyone, look at what I did. Stop yelling. Uh, you have the microphone. They can't hear me. Good. <laughs> Driving me crazy right now. He's like, if you just let me do it, it'll be faster. If you just let me, if you just like, if you just like, I'm like. <laughs> Sorry. So babe. much poop. Sorry. It's not poop. It's just, hey, God, get over yourself. Anyway. How fast was it when I did it? It was really fast. Yeah. Whatever, I took a pee while you did it, it was great. <laughs> 
So, step one of the 72 that we've already done, right? We've got a little, a little shelf in here. Now I don't have to go out into the hallway to get linens. More of an open floor plan. Let's it's see. definitely not more of an open floor plan. It just. Well, just not having that shelf, not I can see piggies in here. Yeah. You're disgusting. Yeah, I know. It smells like fart in here. It smells like onion probably because I keep burping it up and it hurts. I feel like instead of the hay bucket, I kind of want to put the air purifier back in here right on this shelf. That would be the thing. I think that would be like the best idea, don't you? Oh my God, wait, look at my new. So not to say that I didn't like the ones Josh did last time, but like I, had like a different idea in mind and so I had him redo the graphic to the way that I wanted which I think is better which I think is better it's not a contest but I'm just I, saying I made both of them you did make both of them however this one was my full idea always my idea but then this was my idea so I like this what do you think David that was actually MJ. Oh, girlfriend, what you trying to say? All right, I actually need to clean my filter before I turn it on. We'll do that later, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. I literally have no idea what I'm doing, but I think I know how to focus. Oh, it does fit like a glove. Whoa, aggressive. Look, get at this beautiful image, because I promise you in a couple hours it will, because it's going to take me a while, I think. I'm doing human laundry, too. I'm trying to do all my human laundry before I do my pig laundry so I don't have to wash the laundry drum in between, because I just, if I do all my human, I don't need to wash it before I do guinea pig stuff. But if I do guinea pig stuff, I have to wash it and then do, you know what I mean? You, you know what I mean. It doesn't matter if you were listening, because other people who do laundry, Cause like you don't do laundry, so it, of course you have no idea what I'm talking about. He doesn't do laundry. It's cause you do laundry. <laughs> if you would let me do laundry, I'll do laundry. Let you, have I ever stopped you? I just don't <laughs> you think you you've ever have. taken the laundry basket to the laundry and just have ever started it on your own. It's cause a shirt lasts a week. <laughs> Why would you need to wash your clothes? Why are you so disgusting? <laughs> Everything around you is just Smelly piss and poop. <laughs> and I'm never not doing laundry because Josh is like, I mean, I do it, yeah, in a fucking week. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't know. I'm organizing still because I'm going to be here all day. I feel crazy. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Feed me. I'll go make food. I give up. I think the rest of this video is just going to be coming in and seeing what I've done after because I'm going to be here all day. Who needs to watch me just go back and forth for like ever in a time lapse? Nobody. Unless you like watching me like pick my wedgie or something. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. These shorts give me a wedgie. <laughs> the other thing, okay, so it's not that, it's not that I don't like filming. I don't like being here with everyone. However, when we are filming, I can't do things like watch Love Island. <laughs> And like, what would make this whole moment more enjoyable for me? So if I was in here with Love Island on the television. See, MJ agrees. She's super into Ekin Sue. She is Ekin Sue, right? I think MJ's Ekin Sue. She's Ekin Sue. Can't say that, but that's, you know, it's the joke if you watch Love Island. She's a techish delight. Hey, I can do two things at once. Yeah? You wanna see how much space there is? Oh, this is like kind of like one of the main reasons why I wanted to get all the stuff out of the hallway. It's cause Tonka always wanted to come check out what was happening down here. And when I had all the stuff out here, she would get stuck. And because her back legs don't work really well, she would get herself stuck in here and try and back up and then sit and then wait until one of us found her. So that was like a very big like um, drive to clear this hallway. You see how she like barely puts any weight on that leg. Just need to have the house set up as best for Tonka as possible. This is what we did for our last senior dog. And so we are gonna do it for her as well. What are you doing? Waiting for you. I'm here. I should have taken these down, I don't know, almost a year ago, but I figured while I was waiting for you. 
Hi, TT Bird. I did it. Don't look at this, because I haven't cleaned any of this. That's later today. But this, I did it. And the hallway, Josh. Look at the hallway. Look at that. You know, but my hay bucket and my dump bucket. Oh, and this. The grid I took off. I had these made by um, the cute critter shop. And when she gave them to me, the note said, you know, for when they pass, you can have this to put next to their paw print. So actually I'll do that right now and tell you guys that yesterday, what's today, Saturday? So yeah, yesterday, Friday, I was at work and I just had to pee at work. I was scrolling Instagram and saw Alyssa's like plates that she makes and she's made me too. She's made me a David and a Figgy one and she like surprised me with them. And so I, had her or I commissioned her to make me a hippie and a Henry one because I am about to order this like shelf thing from Ikea and I'm gonna make like a, I have a bunch of crystals and stuff and like I kind of want to just make a little thing for all of my, my animal friends. And so yeah, get their like little pictures done and now I have hippies plate. I gotta add MJ. Oh, I took theirs down. Well, I'll have to do that later. But anyway, yeah. So that's just a little fun thing. So. I'll probably, maybe I'll even have it by next week's video and I sh I'll show you guys what Alyssa did for me. Her little plates are so cute. So a quick, just like little mini tour. All my linens are now in here and like my pee pads. This is all just like, and I have a bunch of laundry to do as we talked about already, but I'm trying to finish my human laundry first. Medical and treats down here, extra bowls, toys and enrichment up here. This is also linens. I'm keeping my, I keep my forage and my pea flakes out because I, I use these every morning and I do pea flakes in the morning for MJ and then in, in the afternoon for everyone. MJ's just accustomed to it because like when I've been trying to get her to gain weight, so like you can't, like when you start something with a guinea pig, like <laughs> they're gonna hold you to it and she holds me to it. So. She still gets her morning pea flakes. And then this is what I'm really excited about because my air purifier was having to be like right outside in the hallway. And you know, not ideal, but it's like, I'll take what I can get, but I'm just really glad I can actually have it back in the room now. Um, so that's joyous. And now my three tier shelf over here, I have like room to put stuff on it. Like, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but like I have options, which is really nice. And the hallway. Mostly the hallway, so like I don't have to see it. It's just all in here now. It's just like such a nice visual vacation because <laughs> my house is like just being taken over by animals and what their care requires. Like I hate the pee pads everywhere, but like it doesn't matter because it's for Tonka and she can piss everywhere until the day she dies. I don't care. So back to my shelf, new shelf, new configuration. I don't know, I am actually like really liking how this is like open. Josh keeps saying it, he like loves this openness. I'm gonna feel out this flow for a little while before I like make any other decisions on like changing up cages. At, at bed at night, I keep having this like moral mental battle with myself because if I do stacked cages, then they're gonna have less space and I'm gonna have more space and I'm just like, I don't know, I don't think I'm down with it. Like, I'm like, this isn't like the best, but at the same time, this has more space for all of them instead of, I just don't know, I just don't know. I just want them to have a lot of space and reconfiguring into stacked shelves gives, or stacked cages gives them smaller cages. That's the point. Unless you guys can configure this room and make it so that it's bigger than what they have. <laughs> so as always, we do videos every week. Thank you for being here and hanging out with us. We love you guys and see you next time.